doomsday fear has invaded the real estate industry. The Survival Condo Project offers anxious Americans an option to purchase a luxury apartment built in remodeled Cold War missile silos. With walls up to nine feet thick and military grade security, the project aims to create a comfortable community safe from apocalyptic annihilation. And owners of these units plan to survive in style. Outfitted with a gym, movie theater, and indoor pool, the apocalypse will feel more like vacation days than judgment days. The compounds also have enough food and supplies to keep people alive for years. Cost of these condos range from $1.5 to $5 million, and one location is already sold out. Is this a practical solution for troubled times, or is this just a palace for the paranoid? Yes, we're certainly about to have an interesting doomsday discussion. Today, we're joined by board-certified dermatologist, Dr. Sonia Batra, and board-certified psychiatrist, Dr. Dominic Sportelli. Welcome, Welcome to you both. Thank you. Since, look, I think doomsday has been on a lot of people's minds lately, just because of all the chaos in the world. I want to ask you, Dr. Sportelli, do people that you see clinically fixate on this, or can this doomsday perspective lead them down this path of psychiatric illness? Yes, there's no question about it. So in psychiatry, we have a spectrum, right? Everything's a spectrum. There's, there's normal levels of anxiety that border all the way to obsession, which can really affect your life in a negative way. So when we're talking about doomsday and all these, you know, these doomsday scenarios, it's actually pretty normal to be nervous about it, right? Because anxiety is all about loss of control. So if you can control that in some way, shape, or form by prepping, it just makes it a lot easier. Right? So you're saying that the prep is actually like a coping mechanism. The prep is completely 100%. a coping mechanism. And this isn't a new thing. You guys weren't around in the 60s with the Cold War and the Cuban Missile Crisis. People went a little crazy and started building these bomb shelters in bomb their shelters backyard. In their backyards, then, yeah. yeah. I saw that, and then that passed by the wayside. Things got better. Now well, it's a well, little more. Inspired what? after 9/11, right? So exactly. that's when people became very anxious again. And but the fascinating and thing about these bunkers is, is exactly that that people really are worried about terrorism. They're worried about environmental conflict, and and so a catastrophe, I guess. And so it's so interesting though because these are like small cruise ships. Well, right? it's, it's, it's better than my country club. <laughs> exactly. It is. Yeah. And I want to bring Larry into the conversation. He's actually the developer of the survival condos. He's joins via Skype inside one of the actual condos in Kansas. Larry, I want to ask you, the people buying these condos, obviously they're worried about some sort of catastrophe, but what is the demographic? The demographic is very mainstream. These are upscale professional people. They're wealthy, hardworking people, and most of them have children. And so it looks to me, based on all the pictures and even looking behind you, that this is one of those scenarios where doomsday is approaching, people are gonna have a pretty good time in there. Well, the uh, idea of our facility was to give people an investment, a second home that just also happened to be a nuclear hardened bunker. <laughs> and Larry, I mean, the, the site that you're at had been built years ago by, by the military, correct? Absolutely. And yeah. you took it over and you, you buffed it out, customized it. I mean, these people that spend the money on a condo, do, do they come and visit it and hang out or is this just in a time of need? No, they do. Originally, they were going to use it in the event of a catastrophe. But when they came and saw how comfortable and pleasant it was, they came around and kind of gave me a backhanded compliment and said, I know you told us it was going to be nice, but it, it really is nice. We've got rock climbing walls, and we've got a 75-foot-long pool with a water slide. We have an arcade room. We've got a state-of-the-art continuing education room uh, for the children to maintain their studies. Um, you know, medical wing, movie theater, a bar and lounge. The whole idea was to be able to make life as normal as possible.